Welcome back, Robotlets. This is the video I uploaded a few days ago called Robot Warfare's Worst Player Award Goes To. We're going to watch it again. I got the volume down so you can't hear all the crap I said before about jellyfish. And this time we're going to watch Mr. Tinkwink, who is the guy who is recording this video. And we're going to... I don't want to use the word critique so much as uh, analyze his play style. That's what we're going to do. So the first thing he's doing here, before he even takes a step into the match, is he's looking around to see who's what and who's where. He's very observant of everything that's going on on the battlefield. He's really good at keeping an eye on everything and everybody and knowing what's going on everywhere. And he sees a little fuzz along over there. And the funny thing is, that's the fuzz along. I was wondering, because I knew I saw one in this match. But he's keeping an eye on what's going on back here. We've got two players back here, kind of... Actually, both those are me. So he was watching. And he knows who this is in the run in. I don't know who that was in the fuzz along, though. I didn't quite catch that. But this is basically a level one match. He doesn't have any robots. I think this is probably his most powerful robot on, on this account. Maybe the Predator. But there I come. Jumping in in my little thingy. Nope. That's Ramrod. And Ramrod's good at flaming people. Except that he didn't survive that. <laughs> and that made him go away. That's me in the run in right there, probably. And that run in's most my most powerful robot on this account. Everything else is really, really nerfed. It's got um, it's got a drone and it's got Ghost Banshee on it. So he's still keeping an eye on things going on, but he's also taking out targets of opportunity where he can. I wonder if that's the guy that had the big robot. There was one. Somebody took it out. I, I don't think anywhere in here we got to see that happen. <laughs> it was probably Ramrod or someone that took it out. Still doing what he can. You'll also notice that he's kind of protecting himself with that rock from this side. Because he probably knew that Jellyfish was going to be bringing a Yamabushi down this side. He can't play in a robot that's not invisible. That almost took him out. See how good he is at just manually aiming? That's one of the other skills that you really need in this match is the ability, or in this uh, game is the ability to aim manually because a lot of times you don't have enough time to pull your thumb off that shoot button and hit the target button. And if you practice it enough, you can kind of do it without really thinking. But <clears throat> So he's still on the hunt. I think he brings in an echo next. So he's hunting a Yamabushi and an Echo. Is that insanity or what? Get rid of this guy real quick. It's a shotgun Echo. I'm sure he's got a shotgun on the drone too. It's actually a pretty good robot for taking a Bushi out. The nice thing about shotguns that as long as you keep the center of that screen pretty much targeted on the Bushi, as soon as he goes invisible, you can still see how he's still shooting at him while he's invisible. He's got the bulk of his robot behind this thing. And this is why he takes it out right here. Boom, it's gone. That's got to be embarrassing, getting knocked out of a bushy, even if it is low health, in a freaking echo. <laughs> so now he's trying to get out of this hole he's gotten himself into, but it works out all right, because he's bringing in a second bushy. So we've had a run in, and a bushy he got knocked out of, and this new bushy. <clears throat> She's above him, and he sees that. Always aware of what's going on around him. Always aware of what's happening as many places on the map as he can figure out. All right, he's got two pilots left. He's bringing in the Predator. Thinking about what to do. Getting the Bushi in his sights. Landing just outside. If he landed inside there, that Bushi would have just toasted him. Look at that. That is skill, my friends. 
He's taking on Ibushi and little teeny robots. Look at that, he's just standing there invisible because he doesn't know how to play. I'm sorry, I was going to talk about Jellyfish's piss poor performance, but I was going to talk about Tink Wink's awesome. <clears throat> so he's getting his ass handed to him by Yamabushi, but look at the robots he's in. You tell me which one of these players is the better player. I think Tink's one of the best players in the game. I, I really pay a lot of attention to his videos, especially when he's driving his fire bushy. <laughs> I love watching him drive that thing. He's really good at it. So, you did good there, Jellyfish. You knocked one of the best players in the game out. Unfortunately, he didn't have any robots that were comparable to your robots. So here's me and Grimly. We're clear over on the other side of the map. The guy in the, uh, the guy in the Death Bison. <laughs> Dohomoto. We'll see it here in a second. It's sneaking up over there on the left side, right there. We call that the Death Bison. It's got, uh, quakes on it. <laughs> it's, it's an interesting build. We have fun with them. <laughs> I want to see six people go in in one of those things and just missiles flying everywhere. So there's me trying to act like Tank, trying to be the good pilot, pay attention to what's going on. We're going to dash over and grab that other flag real quick. Being able to grab these back three flags helped us out a lot, but it's not going to save us. So there's Dojimoto. He's uh, trying to be a good target for Mr. Jellyfish so that somebody else can do something about Mr. Jellyfish. <laughs> Grimly's shooting at him. Dojo's shooting at him. He's paying way more attention to Dojo than what's going on over here. He should see us coming up his side, but he doesn't because he's a crappy-ass player. He should have seen that coming. And maybe he did, but he's not paying any attention. Who the hell is making a whole bunch of noise when I'm trying to do a video? What the hell time is it? supposed to show up till after 8. Here they are, 7.30 in the morning, making a bunch of effing noise. Anyway, that's about enough watching Mr. Tinkwink. You guys got to see one of the best players in the match lose to one of the worst. But he didn't really lose, did he? <laughs> anyway, that's what a skilled pilot looks like. The guy who was recording this match. The guy who won the match, based on the game's criteria. No, no he didn't win. He's a loser. Anyway, that's enough for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. See you at the Beacon Crowbot out.